This is Jim Sawyer for CapitalismAndCrisis.org. Wells Fargo Bank in April clawed back an additional $75 million from two executives. It now holds accountable for the bank's five-year sales scandal. As many as 2 million fake customer accounts were opened at management's behest. Since September, government oversight has forced Wells to walk back blame-shifting onto 5,300 employees who it had scapegoated and then fired. The most recent financial clawback, accompanied by a scathing 113-page internal report, blames former Wells Chief Executive John Stumpf and former community banking head Kerry Tolstead. See the link to the New York Times article below. It is a unique story at Wells Fargo, but same old, same old regarding one more way in which the American financial system is gamed by elites who take the money and run. If you saw Michael Lewis's film, The Big Short, you saw a great recession era of mortgage bankers rigging America's finances for their self-interest far too often to get something for nothing. Of course, gaming the system redistributes resources from most everyone else's pockets to theirs. When this happens, capitalism's productivity and effectiveness diminishes. How do they get away with it? And how can it be stopped? Check out links to some helpful Capitalism and Crisis podcasts on fraud below.